to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on to today's video. And if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back, you guys. Now, since Mother's Day is around the corner, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made these beautiful last minute Mother's Day DIY gifts that you can make at home. These are very inexpensive and also in a budget as well. So without taking much of your guys' time, let's dive into the video. And without further ado, let's begin with the video. To make this DIY project, the first thing you're going to need is a picture frame, a white piece of paper, pink construction paper, a heart stamp, some markers, and a glue stick. To get started, first start off with grabbing a white piece of paper, making sure that it fits in the frame. Next what I did was I grabbed the extra piece of paper that I had and I wrote mother in a vertical line. I'm pretty much just going to place it on the sheet just like this. I had already applied glue on the sheet so that way it, the piece of paper sticks onto it. And then I'm just going to start adding in some words that really go well with the word mother. And then once that's complete, next. And to decorate, I'm going to be using these heart-shaped cutouts. Uh, I actually used the heart-shaped punch holder to create the heart-shaped uh, cutouts. And I'm pretty much just going to start gluing them onto the paper. Once that's complete, the only thing left to do is to add it inside the frame. And this is how it looks like. To make this next DIY project, the first thing you're going to need is some clothespins, cardboard piece, photos, a cutout that says mom, and a red marker. Start off with grabbing a cardboard piece. Make sure that it is in a rectangular shape. Next, grab three pictures that you want to add onto the cardboard. Uh, I didn't have any small size pictures, so I'm just going to go with using these three pictures that I had drawn out. And then next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to glue on the mom cutout that I had also made. And then on the empty spaces on the sides, I'm just going to write down something sweet. And this is how it's going to look like. Here is the finished look. To make this next DIY project, the first thing you're going to need is a clear box. Make sure it comes with a lid, some artificial roses, colors of your own choice, a hot glue gun, ribbon, rhinestone stickers, a white marker, make sure it's permanent, some tape. First, start off with grabbing a clear box. I'm going to be using the Ferrero Rocher clear box to do this DIY project. And I've noticed that the sticker on this box is quite um, hard to take off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to use a piece of tape and pretty much you can have any sort of tape. I have, This is the one that I have available. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape and place it onto the logo. And once I place it, I have to be really fast when I take it off and just continue peeling it off until it looks like this. Once that's done, next I'm just going to clean it out with some Windex and then once that's clean, then next what I'm going to do is next, using the lid, I'm going to place this paper that says Mother's Day on it and place it behind the lid and also feel free to tape the paper from top to bottom with the lid so that it doesn't fall off and using the font, I'm going to be using my white sharpie marker to draw over the font and continue doing this and this is how it's going to look like. Feel free to double coat because I think that's something that's going to really help the white color to showcase even more and the color will come out even more brighter so I would suggest to let this dry and do another coat of the white marker. Once a double coat has been added, this is how it will look like once you take off the sheet. And here is how the lid looks like. Next, I'm going to take the base and I'm just going to place a white paper at the bottom there. And then once that's there, I'm going to start adding on the roses. I used all 54 roses in total to complete this DIY project. I also ended up using a black cardboard paper to place on top of the white piece of paper because I felt like the black really gave it a nice look. And then I used some hot glue to place the roses onto it. And here is the finished look. And that is it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my posts. 
for all my video updates, if you guys want to stay up to date on when I post, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore Anna Creep Just down here. And also, you guys can also follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is underscore and Creek Matharu as well. Link is down in the description below and just down here. Also, if you guys do attempt to make these DIY projects yourselves at home, definitely don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see how you guys created these last minute Mother's Day DIY gifts. And today's video shout out goes to all the mothers out there. So shout out to you and wishing you all a happy Mother's Day. In order to get a video shout out, all you have to do is just give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you'll be instantly entered in to get a shout out in my next video. See you guys in my next video. Till then, take care guys, stay safe, and bye.